Hey, I'm Robert Dippier, the Medico, the Big Dipper. I played 240 games and five premierships for the Hawthorne Football Club. And I love to barbecue. So I rounded up Australia's best barbecuers to battle it out each week and pass on and share their tips, tricks and advice on how to make the perfect backyard barbecue. G'day, I'm Boomer and I'm just a simple tradie. But I've got a passion for all things food, but especially barbecue. I'm Dean Schumann and I've been cooking barbecue for over 30 years and I know I can bring a different twist to this show. I'm Justin Graydon, a competition barbecue that's been on the scene for the last few years and I plan on bringing you some great Q. My name's Scott Gould and I'm a self-taught ex-butcher and now professional pit master and I'm going to cook the hell out of this competition. Each week I'll give the guys a randomly picked protein to cook along with a complimentary side dish. They will team up in pairs to discuss plan and execute the perfect Aussie barbecue. We'll follow their every move during the cook-off and then I'll judge the dish out of 10 with some special guests throughout the series for the right to be crowned Dippers Backyard Barbecue Wars Champion. Last week on Dippers Backyard Barbecue Wars, my great mate, former Australian Test cricketer Merv Hughes, gave the nod to Team Boomer and Dino, who nailed the chicken challenge with a perfect 10 for their chicken wings and jalapenos with blue cheese dipping sauce. While Justin Scott received eight points for their post butter chicken with green bean salad and toasted almonds and feta. Guess what? It's grand final time right here now. And I love grand finals. You've got to be on the mark all the time. Boys, are you pumped? Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. The last couple of weeks, you boys have been cooking in pairs. It's, it's, it's gone all right, hasn't it, eh? Yeah. But today, you're on your own. About Every time. man. Yeah. About time. <laughs> Every man on his own, right? Now, the twist of the story is this. The beautiful cuts of southern range meats, like this one, the beautiful tomahawk, beautiful. is that one of these cuts here uh, is under each of those lids on your barbecues. Nice. And you don't know what you'll be cooking, all right? Are you ready for that? Hell yeah. yeah. Can you handle it? Hell yeah. Yeah. Handle it. And thanks very much to our Name and Rice sponsor, the Australian Meat Group. We've got some beautiful meats here, and their cut is the southern range meat. And, of course, I've got a couple of the boys over here. Come over here, boys from the Australian Butcher's Stores, and that's where you get these beautiful cuts of Southern Rangers. Now, boys, how we're going to do it is by picking a name and an appliance out of the hat. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So on. which one would you want, Dino? Oh, I'd like the smoker. The smoker. And what sort of meat do you want? Oh, I reckon I want the scotch. The scotch. Right, let's see how we go. OK, Scotty boy. You've got the smoker. Yes. Dino, you missed out there. Oh, well, there you are. Oh. Are you happy with that? Absolutely. Oh, no, no, he's a smoker man himself, right? Eh? Boomer. Yep. They're a real cool, calm collector for graph. Come on, mate. No, give me no, something. No, no. All right. Eh? Boomer, you've yeah. got the kettle. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Good luck there, my friend. Awesome. Yeah. And Justin, yeah, you've got the the trolley. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah, mate. All right. Mate. Good luck there. And of course, uh, Dino, you've got the gas. Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. You're happy with that? I'll make it work. Well, boys, in a moment, you're going to find out what type of meat you'll be cooking. Hope it all goes well for you. It is grand final time. This is what I love about competitions. We thank you guys for being part of the show. So let's see what they come up with, and we'll be back very, very soon. So let's have a look what they're going to be cooking today for the grand final. It is great coolman, a beautiful piece of machinery. This one keeps all your meat cool. Now, let's have a look here. We've got the beautiful scotch. Look at that beautiful marble in the meat there. That's going to be a nice piece of meat to cook. We've got the tomahawk. What a piece of meat that is, you know. Woo! Let's go, hey. Eh? We've also got this beautiful hanger's meat. Unbelievable. Look how tender that meat is. Got a beautiful marble through it. And, of course, one of my favourites is a big, beautiful rump. Look at that. A lot of people cut the fat off, don't do that. It adds to the flavour. So these are the cuts of meat the boys will be in the competition with. Let's see how they go. When I lifted that lid, I was over the moon. Big whole scotch. Perfect. Just for me to cut to whatever thickness I wanted. I was excited. When I lifted the hood and I found out that I had a tomahawk steak, I was super stoked. They're a massively impressive steak to cook for someone, and I love to reverse sear mine. Today I got drawn the hanger steak. I like hanger steak. It's a brilliant meaty or beefy type of cut. It's, it's a, sort of a quite almost like a feathery looking steak. I'll trim out the sinew down the middle, and then I'll portion it, season it, and it's just direct grilling. Mm -hmm. 
Dipper gave me a rum, which for me is super exciting. If cut right and cooked right, is beautifully tender. And I'm going to do a bit of a twist on a marinade, so we'll, we'll see how all that comes out in the wash. Now that's a beautiful piece of rump there, Scotty. Hey, are you happy with it that? It is, I am. That's, this is actually one of my favourite cuts, Dip. Is it, Richard? So when absolutely. you lifted the, the lid up on your oh, barbecue, you thought frothy. Dip has done me a favour. He's done me well. Now, well, you're one point behind at the moment, and you could be the champion of Dipper's Backyard Barbecue I'll Wars. I'll do my but best, it, mate. Now, a lot of people would cut the fat off this uh, piece of rump. What's, no. what's your... Not at all. No. I mean, we're going to basically cook this fat side down for right. the first part. So we're going to render it off. It's going to be delicious and edible. Delicious. Amazing. Yeah. And you got your potatoes? Potatoes. you got potatoes. your lemon. lemons. Lemons? Yeah. yeah. So basically that's to cut through a bit of this richness. So is it, you want to keep going Is it easy missing? You know what would actually be handy is a nice bunch of dill, but I can make do. Oh, there oh, you are. Right. Hey, hey, You've hey. started again. Yeah, good luck, mate. Good oh luck, God. mate. Good luck. Look Thanks, on. mate. You're one of my favourites, but it's a beautiful piece of meat here. So, how are you going to prepare that? So, what we're basically going to do, this is a beautiful grass-fed piece of meat. So, as you said, we're going to leave all the fat on. All I'm going to do is cut it quite thick, get right. the barbecue ragingly hot, and just sear it off. All right. Well, Simple. good luck, mate. Don't You're one point behind. Thanks, bro. See how you go. It's grand final day. Are you pumped? I'm absolutely pumped. Right, Ready to I'm, do this. I'm pumped for you too, mate. This is one of my favourite uh, cuts of meat. So what are you going to do with our beautiful hanger? All right, so hanger steak, or sometimes the butcher's cut, is yep. generally they'll take it home. You don't see it very often, but when you can get your hands on it, you've got to give it a crack. We're going to portion it along this bit of sinew here. So we yep. run the knife along there mm -hmm. and also along there. Take the two steaks from it. And then we'll probably cook it medium rare cut it against the grain and it's going to be delicious. Uh, is this one of your favourite cuts? Oh, I love it. I was hoping to get the scotch, but okay. I love a hanger. Today you could become our first ever winner of Dipper's Backyard yep. Barbecue Wars. <laughs> and I'll be wrapped for you if you did awesome. that, alright? Yep, I hope okay? I do. Hope I do. Good luck, mate. Thank you. Let's see how you go. All right. Justin, grand final time, mate. You pumped? Oh, hell yeah. Look, mate. my favourite piece of meat here, the scotch. Oh, my. I like about that thick here. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to do with this piece of meat. All right, so this piece of meat, nice big scotch piece. It's got beautiful spinellas around it, yeah. nicely marbled. So what I'm going to do is cut it into about, probably just under two inches thick each of them. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cut some of that uh, silver skin off. And then we're going to uh, reverse sear this. Well, th that sounds exciting. But what in the hell are these? No one of these Brussels sprouts, mate. You didn't eat them when you were a kid? No, never, never, never. never. And I don't oh, eat them as an adult mate. either. No? Well, I'll tell you what, you add some parmesan, right. a bit of bacon and a whole lot of butter, and it'll change your thoughts oh, on it. butter, that sounds really good. I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll make sure I taste that. Right. Well, well good, good luck, mate. This is grand final time. You can yep. take out the first ever Come. Dipper's Backyard Barbecue That's Wars trophy, eh? Yep. And it's a big belt. Don't you worry about that. Mate. Good luck, mate. Thank you. Come with the scotch. Last but not least, we've got Dean here. Dean, everyone reckons you're under the pump. Can you take out the championship? Easily, mate. Easily. Easily. Are you pump? It's grand final time here, I'm right? I'm confident, mate. I'm confident. We've got I'm a beautiful confident. cut of meat there. What do we call that? Mate, that's tomahawk. I know it's not. No? Oh, no, it's not. It's grand final time. It's the number nine. <laughs> yes, the number nine. I love it. Now, look, you look like a bit of an Italian background here, a bit of an Italian cook. You've got the ricotta, you've got the peaches, you've got the basil, the prosciutto. OK, what are you going to do with this piece of meat? Mate, with the tomahawk, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of oil and salt and pepper on it. Oil, love it. Reverse sear it so it'll away it. from the direct heat, yep. give it a bit of a rest, mm -hmm. then we're going to go straight over the direct coals and give it a bit of a char. With the sides, I've got the peaches, I'm going to quarter them, I'm going to wrap them up in prosciutto, 
Give them a little it. bit of a char up. Love Top it. with a bit of fresh basil, a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. Beautiful. Can I uh, start you off by getting a bit of salt and whacking that on? Good luck, Dino. Cheers, mate. See ya. Cheers. The Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars, and it is grand final day. And what a competition we've got. The boys are all cooking in pairs, and today, it's all about the individuals. Now, but prior to the show, what we did was we got two hats, one with a name and one with a barbecue, and we matched them up. And let's see how they're going right now. It's grand final day, I'm pumped, the boys are pumped, they're busy, let's see how they go. Missing. Ain't so, no steak there, mate. This is a barbecue okay. show. This is a grand final. Yep. I'm wondering about you. It's all good, mate. I've got it under control. I'm just getting the sides ready. The steak's going to go on surely, and I can assure but, you. But, but I'm going to judge you on the steak, not your sides. I've got time. I've got heaps of time. It's fine. Are you sure? It's all under control. I'm just worried about you, mate. Nah, it's all under control, you sure? mate. I'm sure. All, right. all good. You sure? Thanks for worrying, oh, though. Thanks. Oh, boom, I'm just worried about you, mate. Just worried about you. I'm so excited. It's halfway through the competition. You look like a little cat that's, that thinks it's got the winner going here. But look, you got the butter. What's that for, mate? Butter's for flavour, mate. OK, well, tell me all about it. My butter's going to go on my red wine reduction that I've got going here. Bit yeah. Of, bit of beef stock. Right, bit That's of red the Shiraz. Wine. The Shiraz in there. That's the Shiraz, oh, mate. Oh, yeah. So the butter's going to go in there. Just going to make it a little bit more creamy. OK, and in here. Don't touch that. Mate, I've got my steaks in there. They're, okay. just, they're just getting ready. Sorry. Just... Come speak? No. All right, OK. You this can... is a grand final, you know that. That's it. Are you pumped? I'm pumped, All right. I'm OK, pumped. so I can't open that now? No, you can't. All right, You'll we'll just see what these foods like later, OK? Cheers, You want to be pumped? <laughs> Scotty, when we drew your name out, you had the uh, smoker. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah. the smoker's half the smoker's on the ground. Explain what you're doing here. OK, so because because I want to run, basically, I want to get hot heat underneath yeah. here, but from what's in here, my little special tree, right. I don't want it to be too close. So right. what I've done is add a spacer there. So you could add two spaces if you want to run multi-level, okay. but for this, mate, you're going to get excited about what's going on in here. Now, now what meat did you get? I got the rub. The rub. Yeah, but I my love personal the favourites. Right. Show yeah, me where yeah. the rub is. Show me. Right. It's halfway through the show. Are you ready? And the boys are flying. Yeah, here All we right. go. Here we go. Bam! <laughs> uh, there's no rub. This is a barbecue show. No, right? no, potatoes. I know it's potato. If it was a potato show, that would look absolutely fantastic. But where's the rub? Don't worry about the rub. <sighs> I'll, I'll sort the rub out, Dipper. I'll you, boys. Anyway, I'll have a taste of... Oh, hot potato! Oh, hot potato! Tell me about what you're doing to the meat here, buddy. We've got the Scotch fillets resting at the yeah. moment. You can have a little peek if you want. Oh, look at that. So they've been in the barbecue, they've right? They've been in there, yeah. just reversing. Right. I'm ready for the sear now. OK, and this is a Brussels sprout you've before, you had yeah. before. Bit of bacon. No one of these Brussels sprouts, but look at that. That looks really, really good. Can I have a taste? Oh, hell no. What do you mean, hell no? Oh, I mean, it's not ready yet. OK, OK. Is there anything I can do? Anything I can help with you? I'll tell you what, you can right. squeeze a little bit of lemon in there if you want. Right, eh? Look at that. There we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. Well, being grand final day, everyone's in a hurry now, but look at this, you've finally got some meat on. I know, on. I know, the meat's oh, on. Oh, you're running about you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. It's on, it's cooking, we're nearly ready to plate up. Are you happy what's happened here? Yeah, everything's yeah. looking good. The asparagus is done, my stuffed mushrooms are done. Good, beautiful. Most of the steaks are done, we're just finishing this one off right now, and then we'll give them a rest, I was so worried. Go. I was so worried for you, but nah, look at that, looks mate. really, really good. Of course, you've got the... Hang hanger steak, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hanger steak, which is a lovely, beefy sort of cut. Very tender, a um, bit funny looking, uh, but um, I'm I can't wait. You know? I can't wait to taste that and judge on it. All right. Uh, well done. Thank you. you. Finally got meat on it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Now, time is ticking away, you know that. It is a grand final. Oh, Everyone's got their meat ready. You can't rush you. these things. This okay. is hot, though. I'm with you, mate. I'm right, with that's you. That's it. I'm going down. All right, Scotty, you're down. That's what we're doing. And the kettle back on? No, no, no. Leave no. him off. Right. Leave off. him off. Off, right. Off. 
So what we're going to do now, Dip, we're actually we're going to sear this off. So usually people would marinate this first, yeah? Right. We're going to do the opposite. Right. So what I like to do with rump, because it does have a bit more chew to it, we're going to put it in a post-marinade. So olive oil, a little bit of vinegar. So this is basically a little dressing for the steak. So he's okay. going to jump in there and as it's resting, just, just suck up all those beautiful love juices. That. Love that. We've got a bucket of thyme, get that in. A little bit of garlic. Right. So that's good to go. Once this is done, we're going straight out, mop in there. there and rest. It'll be the best steak you've ever eaten, guaranteed. Are you sure? Put money well, I'm on one it. of the judges. Money on it. Okay, well, flip that over because I reckon that side should be done. Oh, look at that. It's starting to get a bit of colour. I love, I love the way the, the, the grid on a steak. Beautiful. And we've actually added a little bit of, little bit of wood here, a little bit of white yeah, oak, okay. just for that little bit of smoke. Yeah, it extra flavour. You can actually smell it too, yeah. So that's just chugging along nicely there. All right, well. As I said before, folks, he's the last person to put his piece of meat on. Can't believe it. He's leaving until the last minute. Maybe he's the winner. We don't know yet, eh? It's just such a good cut. We just work with it, you know. Don't muck around with it. Just give it the respect it deserves. It had that beautiful mahogany colour to it, and that's exactly what I'm looking for, so I'm on. I was pretty happy with my cook today. The hanger steak came off nicely done. I was aiming for medium rare and I've nailed it. I couldn't have cooked that steak any better. The side was absolutely delicious. Well, Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars has finally come to an end. What a grand final we've had. We've had guys just leave their meat to the last minute. And I've got my beautiful partners here, uh, Richard Vanderburg from Vanderburg Wines. We've got uh, Joe from the Joe Knives. We've got Paul from Mr. Coolman. We've got Ricky and Brendan from Australian Butcher Store. We've got Nick over here from Aroma Wood. And of course, the beautiful Saffron from bushcooking.com. Talking about bushcooking.com, if you want to know any uh, of these recipes, please go to bushcooking.com. Hey guys, and what I want you to help me is I want you to dig in with me and give me your final verdict so I can tell the boys who is our first winner. All right, let's go in. Pretty happy with it. I would like to think anywhere from eight up. Yes, I'm confident in the cook. Uh, I think I might be judged a little bit harshly just because it is rum. I'm pretty happy with my cook. I like the way it looked, it presented well. Hopefully it eats really well, all the flavours, all the colours. If my score is anything less than a 10, the entire show is rigged. I mean, it was perfect. Well, like every grand final, it's got to come to an end, boys. What a great treat you've put in front of us. Uh, all competition. You boys have done a great job. Give yourselves a hand. Well done, guys. I know you boys are very competitive, and so you should be. And so you say, yeah, 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 yeah. So you should be. But you know what? Very shortly, I'm going to announce the first ever winner of Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars. Dean, what a magnificent tomahawk you supplied to us, you know, with the ricotta, the, uh, the peaches and the, uh, the prosciutto, done a wonderful job. Had a nice taste to it. Thanks, Dipper. A nice flavour. I love that big piece of meat you, you cooked, and I'm going to give you eight points. Cheers, thanks. Now, at the moment, you're in the lead. You had 62 points, level with Boomer, and the boys have had 61. It's a very tight competition, so you've hit the lead so far, right? Justin, what can I say about your beautiful yeah. scotch? The way you presented it, absolutely magnificent. The butter that you made on top of it, even better. The tomatoes you had on the display, done a great job. Tasted really, really beautiful. And for you, I'm going to give you a nine, OK? You, so, uh, nine's pretty good, Ooh. eh? Scotty! Oh, Scotty! Oh, I was panicking for you, mate. You no, just, no, no, no. You, you just left that piece of rump to the last minute, but boy, what a great job you did. It's all you about marinated timing. after you cooked it. Most of it were marinated before we cooked it, but you left it to the last minute, and I'm not going to give you a score, but let me just tell you that your, your rump tasted very, very nice. And you okay. kept the fat up, which gave you a bit of flavour as well. Boomer, like Scotty. You were just hanging out there, sitting yeah. back here. You didn't realise it was a grand final. But that hanger's meat that you, you prepared for us was absolutely beautiful. Such a tender piece of meat that you supplied for us, you know. Yep. And Boomer, the way you did those mushrooms, absolutely beautiful. Cheers. With a bit of pine nuts and the onion there, tasted magnificent. And the hanger's meat, mwah, I'm going to give you an eight. Yeah. OK, well done, mate, well done. Nice. Scores yeah. are pretty tight here, but Ooh. Scotty, got to come back to you, mate. 
Can I just say, Give we're all me. panicked, we're all panicked. You boys are very competitive. You boys have worked for the whole series in partnerships and that. Can I just say, the way you presented that me was absolutely fantastic. That beautiful rump, the way you marinated. We're going to give you a 10! Oh, oh, you are the winner of Dipper's first ever Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars. And what a great time it is for Scotty. Well done, mate. Richard, bring it in. We've got some champagne. Hey. 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 I love it, I love it. Have a drink, mate. Have a drink. That's the way. And can I just say, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on board. And thank you for joining us. And we will see you next year on Dipper's Backyard Barbecue Wars. Well done, Scotty!